So you just tested the ammonia in your system and you get a whopping one part per million. That means your fish will die soon, right? That means you should be worried, right? Not exactly. Today I want to show you how I interpret an ammonia test and a few things you should consider before you have a panic attack. Let's talk about it. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Evan Grow on YouTube, your source for information on aquaponics, hydroponics, and agriculture. Now, as you may or may not know, ammonia in aquaponics systems comes mainly from four sources. Fish respiration, fish waste, uneaten food, and detritus, or anything that decomposes. These four things are constantly contributing to the total amount of ammonia in your system. The main way to get rid of ammonia is through nitrification, either in a biofilter, maybe a deep water culture bed, anywhere that there's oxygen to create an aerobic environment for beneficial bacteria to break that ammonia down into nitrite and then nitrate. But what happens when you test for ammonia in a fish tank and it's higher than you'd like it to be? There's a few things that you need to consider before you make any decisions. First of all, ammonia exists in two forms, ionized ammonia and unionized ammonia. Unionized ammonia is a more toxic form of ammonia and the way I remember that is unionized ammonia, unhappy fish. So the question is, when does unionized ammonia actually exist? And the answer is when the pH is above seven. So anytime the pH is above seven, a percentage of ionized ammonia is going to shift into unionized ammonia. Now what determines that percentage? Well, there's a common water quality chart that I'll put in the description below, but the two things that contribute to that number are the higher the pH and the higher the temperature. It's perfectly okay to have a pH above seven, so don't let that scare you. But when you have a high pH such as above eight and a high temperature such as above 80 degrees, then you have a reason to be a little bit concerned. If your temperature's in the 70s and your pH is in the seven to 7.5 range, you should generally be safe. So you test your water for total ammonia nitrogen and you get a reading of 1.5 parts per million. Say your pH is 6.9, all of the ammonia in your system is going to be the ionized form, which is less harmful to fish. It's still toxic, but it's less harmful. So let me tell you the most important thing that I think about before I draw any conclusions about my ammonia level. The first thing that I always look for is my fish's behavior. So one thing about ammonia that you need to understand is that it's always present in fish tanks. Fish are always breathing, they're always eating, they're always using the bathroom. So ammonia will always be there. What I look for is my fish to be happy, to be moving around quickly, to be eating aggressively. That was aggressively feeding. These things tell me that the ammonia level in that tank really is negligible because in my experience, high ammonia levels cause fish to be lethargic. The next thing I've noticed that is kind of correlated to healthy water quality is the water clarity. This is something that I've talked about in a few of my Instagram posts, but usually if you look into a fish tank and it's clear and you can see the bottom, the ammonia levels will be low. Conversely, if I look into a fish tank and it's cloudy and I can't see the bottom, the ammonia levels will be high. This tells me that I need to either improve my filtration or increase the rate at which my fish tank is cycling over, which it should do at least once per hour. It's okay for the water to have a brown tint to it. That usually tells me that it's nutrient rich, but you want it to be clear enough where you can see the bottom. So next time you test ammonia before you get nervous, take a look in your fish tanks first. If I really wanted to make sure the ammonia in my system was getting removed, I would check my biofilter for any particles and debris. You wanna keep that container as clean as possible. And I would also check it for nitrate to make sure that that ammonia is getting converted efficiently. So the next time somebody tells you that your ammonia levels are too high, take a look in your fish tanks and let them tell you. Hope that tip helps you guys and thanks for watching.